Hi. Today, we're going to look at testing for XXE injection vulnerabilities with Burp Suite. XML External Entity Injection, also known as XXE, is a web security vulnerability that allows an attacker to interfere with an application's processing of XML data. It occurs when user input that contains a reference to a defined external entity is processed in an unsafe way on the server side, so the application may return the value of the defined external entity within its responses. You can use Burp Scanner, which is available in Burp Suite Professional, to flag potential vulnerabilities automatically, or you can use Burp Repeater to manually test for vulnerabilities and investigate vulnerabilities further. If you'd like to follow along with the demonstration, you can use the lab exploiting XXE using external entities to retrieve files from our Web Security Academy. First of all, we'll use Burp Scanner to test for vulnerabilities. Once the lab is launched, you need to identify a request that contains XML that you want to investigate. In this lab, we can use the check stock request. Once you've identified the request, I have it here in the proxy HTTP history tab, right click and select do active scan. Once the scan has finished, Review the Issue Activity panel on the dashboard or the Scan task to identify any XXE issues that Burp Scanner has flagged. To manually test for XXE vulnerabilities, we can use Burp Repeater. Again, you'll need to identify a request containing XML to investigate. For this demo, we'll use the same request again. Right click and select Send to Repeater. Go to the Repeater tab. Insert an XXE payload into the XML string. The payload should define an XML entity, in this case XXE, and contain a system identifier as a value. The system identifier could be, for example, a file path or a URL. In this case, we're specifying a file. Next, we'll replace a data value in the XML with the defined XML entity. Now, review the response to see if any data is returned, and we can see we've been successful. You can test additional XML data values by replacing a different data value in the XML with your defined XML entity. You can also target other file paths or URLs by changing the system identifier value in your XXE payload.